Imagine a business actually be, is two different kinds of businesses. It's a power plant as well as a ship power. And gas is essential in both these businesses' strategy. With the new legislations uh, within the ECA, emission controlled, where you are only allowed to have 0.1% uh, uh, sulfur in the emissions, which is quite challenging for many of the ship owners. One of the most preferable solutions is today to use gas uh, as, as a fuel. We're really looking forward to an exciting decades going ahead where gas in both power gen and in marine is going to take a very, very strong role going forward as a preferred fuel. There's so many parts that indicate this. We've got emissions, we've got regulations, we've got the shale and gale. The switch to LNG for Harvey Gulf means that we can promote and show the industry that we're committed to the environment. Harvey Gulf taking on LNG as a marine fuel has enhanced our capabilities and it helps us help our customers meet their environmental requirements and commitments as well. The other part is on the U.S. that the found of shale gas, the availability of gas, that has driven down the cost as a fuel, which makes gas become essential. The abundance of natural gas in North America as a cheap, viable fuel source further enhances our capability to charter our vessels because it puts us in a position to offer our customer base a lower daily OPEX. Here in U.S., uh, one of the leading uh, uh, companies is Harvey Golf, and Harvey Golf has demonstrated a lot of, of uh, possibilities to use LNG. Uh, Vetsa's experience with LNG started about 25 years ago um, when we started supplying uh, engines for LNG carriers. Uh, after that, we moved into offshore supply vessels, as well as into cru the cruise and ferry segment. So Harvey Gulf chose Wartzilla Diesel to provide the dual fuel engines that we currently have on board our STX SD310DF. Harvey Gulf teaming with Wartzilla took much of the technical risk out of TY Offshore becoming the first builder of LNG platform supply vessels in America. By having Wartzilla provide the total solution not only gave us peace of mind to take on the project but put TY Offshore on the fast track in the LNG marine world. The nice thing about the package provided by Wartzilla is it comes as a complete package. So it's not just an engine, it's an engine, it's a fuel source and it's a fuel storage area as well. Um, which made it a nice piece to integrate into the vessel as opposed to piecemealing a system together. It's very unique for one supplier to be responsible for the myriad of components that Wartzilla is providing on this project. Their scope starts with the dual fuel engine, then includes the LNG tank, the switchboards, the switch gear, the electric motors, the thrusters, the bow thrusters, the Z-Pellers, and full integration and automation of the entire package. It was also beneficial to our engineering and production team to visit the Viking Prince, a similar Wartzilla dual fuel platform supply vessel operating in Europe. Seeing such a boat helps us understand the full system and how it operates. When it comes to operational experience, bluntly speaking, we have no limitations whatsoever. Uh, when it comes to the gas power installations, uh, we haven't had one single incident. The systems have proven to be extremely reliable, so we are extremely happy with uh, the, the profile of the maintenance and the wear and tear of, uh, of this uh, kind of equipment. Moving the LNG and reductions in emissions further shows that an offshore marine company does respect the environment and takes into account the effects that we have on, uh, on our industry and, uh, and the people around us. LNG as a fuel source further shows that we're committed to reducing our emissions footprint. The drive for this change is clear. It's coming from U.S. and from the shale gas. And I think it's uh, the availability of low-cost gas. That is really the drive of it. And the environmental legislations and the need for, for clean environment in all different parts of the world is, is really driving the market towards uh, gas.